Colorado Springs? This is the Denver dispatcher again. We got two more 20-car specials at the junction and three more just this side. How soon can you handle them? Not for a while yet. We've got trains all over the place. Can you hold them? We can hold the trains, but I don't know about the kids. You'll have to get in line, 317. There are three specials ahead of you. What's going on? A summit meeting? Boy Scout Jamboree. Circle the field a while and look at the scenery. I'll get you down before dark. Operations. This is the main gate. How many boys did you say were coming this morning? 18,000 and what? How many buses? Well, we've checked in over 26,000 boys already and they're still coming. No, there are no unloading problems. Everything is going smoothly. Sure, they're setting up camp okay. They know just what to do. They're busy as beavers. What's that? Wait till I see what tomorrow brings. Good morning, folks. We're broadcasting direct from the big Boy Scout Jamboree here in the shadow of Pikes Peak. More than 56,000 Boy Scouts have converged on this Rocky Mountain area as the opening ceremony nears for their Jubilee Jamboree. things we did after we set up camp was to telephone home. Oh, it was wonderful to hear the folks. I told them that Jamboree was great and that I was now making the rounds of the field sports, like archery, and angling. No, we didn't actually fish. We just learned how. The rifle range was pretty cool. Oh, I know I never fired before, but all these places have coaches to show you how. I even tried skeet shooting. Not so hot. In the activity area, our patrol did pretty well. Oh, it was great fun. I took in the conservation program. It was really interesting. And they had everything. Trees, crops, soil, and even a small ranch. 
and the ranch had real cattle. Everything there was real. They even had real uranium buried in the ground, and you could look for it with a real Geiger counter. Even Smokey the Bear was there, but Smokey is not a real bear, of course. The animals at the rodeo were real, though. We had a genuine Western rodeo. The whole works. There were so many of us, they had to give two shows. Everything was going on at the Jamboree. I never thought it would be so good. Car 23 to mobilization control. Go ahead, 23. We're at location B near the top of the arena. All scouts are in the arena. All roads are clear. The arena show is now starting. So some of the questions you ask. Yes, I'm having a swell time. And the food is really good here, even though we cook it ourselves. We eat by patrols. If the cook goofs, his patrol lets him know about it. But so far, my patrol hasn't let me know. Yes, there's a place where we can buy food if we happen to miss a meal. Well, up to now, nobody's missed a meal. But we are always getting an extra snack anyway. Yes, Mom, there's plenty of doctors here. They checked us in the day we came. Also, there's plenty of water for washing and all that stuff. By the way, you know my habit of sleeping late at home? Well, I'm getting over that habit. Gradually. You ask about church. I went, and so did every scout at the Jamboree. Protestant, Jewish, Catholic, Mormon, and, and all the others. You ask if I've been sightseeing, Mom. Well, I've been to the famous Garden of the Gods, and Mom, I've been everywhere. Up to the top of Pike's Peak, to the new Air Force Academy. And 
into a real live ghost town. Even a trip straight up the side of a mountain. And to a genuine gold mine. Of course, all this tired me out a little, so when I got back to camp, I rested. You can't rest too long, though, or you'll miss out on some good swapping. Well, I've made quite a few friends swapping. Some of them are from other countries. There are hundreds of scouts here from places all over the world. They may sound different and look different, but they really aren't. Well, I wish I had time to tell you about all the other things going on here. Like the rockets going up. And the big air show the Blue Angels put on. to tour the Jamboree campsite. 
Clear all roads in your area and flash us when he passes your position. And as I write this final story of the Jamboree, I'd like to say that I've never seen so many kids have so much fun. And yet, that's not the big story of this Jamboree. The big story is what they've learned here. What have they learned? I think they've learned quite a bit more about this country of ours. And this country of ours is quite a bit better because they know. I think maybe they've learned to live together in ways they never knew before. And maybe they've learned they don't know as much as they thought they knew. I think they've learned that no matter where you are, you can make a friend. And no matter who you are, you can be one. And maybe it's not too much to expect that this great scouting event has given our youth and their visitors and friends from foreign nations a deeper appreciation and keener understanding of the freedoms we all enjoy.